Oh yeah, Prisoners of Drake's OVO Sweatshop as well too. That's gonna be interesting. But this is not uh, my video, obviously. But Urban Legend Will Evans. Let's hear what he got to say about it. This is Drake exposed as child lover five years ago by comedian Shane Gillis. And Shane Gillis is a comedian that I've seen, uh, I've been told about, and I've seen some of the stuff that's pretty funny. So, I don't know, he's a pretty credible comedian so far, so check him out. Comedian Shane Gillis went on the record five years ago, August 5th, 2019, episode 141 of his podcast, and he let the world know way back then that Drake liked girls that were underage and the whole industry knew about it. Urban Legend 11, you know what it is, man. Let's get into this topic right here. I want you guys to hear this audio from Shane Gillis, comedian Shane Gillis, who seems to be plugged in with the industry because he has Birdman's personal number, and he said that he texted Damn, Birdman, really? and he says that he had um, good information back then, back in 2019, that Drake liked little girls, and uh, he said it was it was pretty much you know known in the industry. Um, the public just didn't know about it, and he predicted that five years from then, Drake will be going through some R. Kelly type of allegations. Check this out right here. Let's Damn, listen really? to this. Think about uh, Epstein definitely going to be decided here shortly. What the fact that they found him, like, dude, yeah. first of all, he's, first of he's all, about to get to R. So Kelly's hard. missing, dude. Huh? <laughs> what the f what is, the R. Kelly's missing. Kells is missing. Kells is missing, dude. He was, he con aired and he got away. What? Yeah, dude. R. Kelly got away. That reminds me, I do want to say this. I want to be on the record. Drake, sure. Drake's going to be. He's on that R. Kelly tip. You think so? Drizzy Drake likes him young. What? He does. This is somewhat known already, but it, this is one of those things where I want to, you know... He didn't have to say that that smoothly. He said, Drizzy Drake likes him young. Like, that, that was just, like, way too smooth with it, bro. Like, like he, he, it was, like, so easy to say because, like, he'd seen it and knew about it. Like, I don't say he'd seen it, but he knew about it. Like, he really had to say that. Like, I don't know. It was just very... Very smooth the way he said that. And I don't know, man. <laughs> you gotta say something. Like, remember, Kendrick Louis already exposed it. We know. Yeah, and like, we knew about that. Yeah. And we were just like, I don't know. Drake, Drizzy Drake's into the young ones. He's gonna get got in the next five years. Oh. Unfortunately. Oh. Love me some Drizzy Drake, dude. Dude. I drunk texted uh, Birdman. <laughs> was up. He gave you the gossip? Then he hit me the, what's up, homeboy, the next day. I haven't had the heart to reply. So. Oh, so shit. you're getting good info that he's fucking. <laughs> Dude, Birdman did not supply him with that info. That's just a separate story, separate break. I'll we'll never accuse the Birdman. Separate of fucking... on the ticker, also on the ticker. <laughs> separate. Drunk, drunk texted Birdman. He replied. I didn't reply because I'm ashamed. What? Yeah, bro. Trump texted the Birdman. Drunk, no. <laughs> I did. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, what the f going on? Drunk texted. Oh, I got okay. hammered, and I was like, dude, let's see if Birdman will FaceTime us. <laughs> oh, it's so funny. Yeah, 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 yeah. Damn, dude. Can't you're a tooth, though. You're calling for people to fight. You're calling for people to take him down, dude. Drizzy Drake? Yeah. Nah, I love Drake. Really? I hate to see him. You I, would defend I like Drake. better ass. But how young? I don't think he's a pedophile. He just, just like likes a young pedophile? girls. Okay, how young? Again. Post, like, 17. Ah, dude, that's a file, bro. No, it's not. It's at least, like, it's not a file. I was like pre pubic I was okay. Yeah. You got the guy with that itch. Oh, I know. You don't what he's think saying. he's okay. maybe going think. to Thailand? Be like, Whoa. See, see, before y'all jump to conclusions like people do <laughs> on the internet, saying like, oh, well, Shane Gillis just said this. No, what he was saying was the difference between the, the pedophiles and stuff was like, at a certain age, it is, there is a form of pedophilia, but it's, it has a name for it. That's all he, he was calling it by its name. That, that's all he was doing. He's not saying it's not pedophilia. He's just calling it by the name it is for that age group. Because each age group has its own, apparently, pedophilia. I'm not, not apparently. It's actually like the thing. Look it up. But it is like they have different uh, age groups for pedophilia. Yeah, that is basically what he was trying to explain. So don't jump on Shane Gillis, you know, hate wagon or whatever. Like he didn't, he didn't say nothing bad. You feel me? I think he's on that Kells tip. The Kells one's like 13, 12. All right, well that's a little young. Kells hated Leah, bro. <laughs> he's Kells like, well, is that's a little, a little young. young. You are you're, so you're telling me Drake is <laughs> JoJo Siwa? <laughs> I think Drake. Is, <laughs> JoJo Siwa is like a year old pop sensation. <laughs> he's like, um, I don't even know what I that is. Likes, I think Jersey Drake likes him young. Youngsters. Right around that. So you're allowed to fuck his What's the point of 18? Why does everyone... I just picked that does up. Does he think he, like, does his tour and, like, how I think they... they had, like, screenshots of him. Coming like... back to Texas again. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. A very specific date. Yeah, dude. Oh, it's just well, we've, like, Texas, I think Texas 16 is, Texas like... is young, dude. Yeah, Texas is, like, whatever. I'm young down there. Speaking 
<laughs> so before we continue, I want to point out a couple things yeah. that I thought were key in that first part of that, and we're going to continue with that and let you guys hear the rest. One it's of the first things I thought bit. that was key was that this dude is texting Birdman, which means he has industry relationships, and he's been hearing this behind the scenes. Another part of that is him saying that people know that Drake's, Drake likes him young um, back then, you know, and he was saying that, uh, you know, he doesn't think Drake, at that time, he didn't think Drake liked him at like 13 years old, 14 years old, but we have this image of Drake on a yacht with Millie Bobby Brown when she was 13 years old and he was 31 years old. We also have another image really? where it seems like there's some type of relationship. If you look at the caption on this photo right here, what Millie Bobby Brown posted um, when she post took a picture with Drake. Hey, before he says any more, she did come out and deny uh, anything happening with them. So don't, you know, don't anybody saying I'm spreading information because I'm not. I'm just reacting. I'm watching. I'm learning. Just like y'all. You feel me? But um, that's interesting. That's interesting. Drop. <laughs> I didn't know there was more to to that. I didn't know he was on a yacht with her, shit like that. You know, I, and she they're famous. They could be like on a yacht together. You know what I mean? But if it's like you know Drake's private yacht, then maybe she shouldn't be there. You know what I'm? You know what I'm saying? Like I maybe that's just me though. But <laughs> I'm just saying. You know, if it's his private yacht or something. I don't know. I don't have a photo. This man right here can provide the 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 photo of the said incident that'd be nice and then also the uh the other thing too that'd be nice to, to you know to see for visual that way we can understand so, more we don't know if drake likes them that young but there's some evidence that suggests maybe that could be a truth so i thought those were two things that were key to point out another thing we talked about this in a live stream last night you know how these guys talked about drake loves texas because texas age of consent is young i did some fact checking i, I got texas um some information that you know, the age of consent in Texas is actually thing. 17, not 16. But people in my chat did say last night in the live stream that Drake loves Houston, Atlanta, and Vegas. This is why he made the song Houston, Atlanta, Vegas. If you guys are not familiar with that song, that's one of Drake's biggest songs yep. um, early on in his career. And they say the age of consent in all the states that Drake per particularly likes to be in, apparently, is 16. So he likes to be in states where the age of consent is very low, according to some of the fans. Let's Now... In his defense, bruh, before, uh, you know, we start saying it's, it's all because of the, the age of consent, we could say that those places are nice places, you feel me? <laughs> like, they're not bad places. There's other reasons to be there. I'm just, I'm just saying. That's all, that's all I'm saying, but we know Drake has a history. So, I mean, like, you know, alleged history. Like, there's no 100% confirmation. Besides the one on stage, he literally kissed the young lady. Like, that was for real. Like, did, did he know beforehand? Um, I don't recall if, like, it's, it said the, the age before or after, but I don't know. I know she got sent away at some point, but I know he also kissed her, so. It's all interesting, but let's not just immediately throw more allegations without any proof for sure. But the the stuff that he's being blamed for is commonly known stuff so far. Nothing too crazy. The, the extra photos and stuff is interesting. And the new information uh, about, well, I wouldn't say new information, but him liking younger girls or what, it's not surprising that we already heard. But the Houston, Houston, Atlanta, Vegas thing, those are nice places, bro. Like, the, you could, he could just like those places just because of that. And that, the, that could be all. But, I don't know, maybe he has something to back up that. We'll see. Let's get back into this clip, man, so you guys can hear the rest of this. Yeah, I have a good theory on Jersey Drake. He's getting brought, brought down, bro. You think so? No doubt. That's, that's going to be a big one. That's going to be a sad day, dude. You think so? I'm mean, sad on that one. I mean, if he goes a full R. Kelly route, I think he's you think going R. Kelly Kelsey. disappeared and talked to Drizzy. He I vanished, know. dude. He vanished. R. Kelly evaded the authorities. Kells is gonna be like, you know, at the end of Star Wars when. <laughs> Luke sees those Let me guys. have to check to see how old this is. That was only eleven days ago. Okay, so like, if he's missing, I thought maybe this was like <laughs> a year ago or some shit, or some crazy like t time ago or some shit. Because I was like, why is he talking about R. Kelly missing? But he's is he actually missing right now? Nah, he's uh he's in jail. Maybe they're maybe uh, like the essence of missing. Maybe they're referring to like he's missing like in social media, like in like you know online presence. Like we haven't seen him, we haven't heard him, we haven't seen photos, you know, of recent for him. You know, maybe that's what he's referring to, and that that could be all that is. Obviously, he's not fucking missing. He's at, he's in regards at the prison. That's where he's at. It's at North Carolina prison. Drake's gonna be at a concert. There's gonna be like a hologram Cosby, a hologram Kells. Jackson. Louis will be jerking off as sure. a ghost. 
Jackson too. Jackson will be in there. Just like, oh. <laughs> yeah, J- Drizzy's gonna. Whew. I don't know. Do you have any other pedophiles? You think? No, dude. I don't. I don't. Do I mean, anybody you'd like to allege? Uh, no, man. I, I can't think of anyone that thinks about oh, besides Drake. Now I'm pretty <laughs> sure did... about that, but he is a song. What? Why they beep that one, but not the pedophile? Or maybe maybe pedo is uh. Maybe that's blocked out, and then PD, PDO isn't? With, I don't know, he has like songs Unless he's like pressing a beat at the about. time, I don't know. Just a chick named Georgia, I forget how young she is. Well, he married a star. Or not he married, he, he, didn't he, he like... He impregnated like a stripper, a sorry, yeah. There was he a French a star, that was, yeah, that was the one they made fun of him for, the Pusher T made fun of him that for. That was for Adonis. So. So this chick's 22, she was born in 97, and Drake was, Drake was like... In like 16, so like four years ago, he was talking to her. Wait, what? She's 22 now. <clears throat> he was talking to her four she years She just ago? turned 22. He was talking to her, yeah, they had like a song together. <sighs> in, in 2016. I th- dude, I think also, too, he came up in like child yeah, star stuff. So I think it's like, you come up on a different world with that sh- Yeah, he had... It's like, dude, if you're a child star, you definitely have like 30-year-old ladies blowing your <laughs> You know what I'm saying? All right, man, I want to pause it right there to talk about some notable things in that part. They're talking about Georgia Smith, the singer, when they say that Drake, you okay, know. I was, I, was, I was trying to piece it together, my boy. I was like, who are they talking about? Like, I was just like, I couldn't piece it together, but okay. He said that Drake, um, you know, has songs that people think are about grown women, but they're actually about little girls. That's what he said. He said he has songs out there that you guys think he's writing these songs about grown women were really there about 16 17 year old girls out there and he's talking about georgia smith uh one of the best singers out there um uh she's actually really popular now but at the time you know drake was already writing songs about her apparently according to shane gillis he was already writing songs about her and putting her you know her on uh his music and she was you know 16 17 18 years old when this was going on so that's what he's talking about i thought that was interesting um he said he has songs out there that you guys think he's writing these songs about grown women where really there are about 16, 17 year old girls out there. And he's talking about Georgia Smith, uh, one of the best singers out there. Um, uh, she's actually really popular now. But at the time, you know, Drake was already writing songs about her, apparently, according to Shane Gillis. He was already writing songs about her and putting, her, you know, her on uh, his music. And she was, you know, 16, 17, 18 years old when this was going on. So. That's what he's talking mm. about. I thought that was interesting. Um, these guys are talking about this in 2019. So it's crazy how far back, you know, this has been going. And it's hard to see, you know, Drake that way because we love Drake's music. So it's hard to see, like, man, are you really a weirdo, bro? <laughs> if so, it's super sad, man. So, I mean, it is sad. If he is a weirdo, bro, it would be sad. It's just like uh, the situation with R. Kelly. It's like they finally took him down and, like, people were in a spot to where, like, do they still, like, listen to R. Kelly's music, even though, like, what he did was wrong? And, you know, you had your side that did, you had your side that didn't. I personally don't really listen to R. Kelly. Like, <laughs> don't get me wrong, he didn't have bad songs or nothing, but I just, I never really, like, to sit there and listen to him. But I'm not angry at people that do listen to him still. But I, I like, I understand it. It's, it's music, bro. It's, like, it's, like, it's just the music. That's it. Same thing with Drake, bro. Like, like the music isn't bad, and it, it should be like, uh, I, I don't know what they should do about it, honestly. Just like with R. Kelly, like you can't like, I don't know. They they did try to shut down uh, his music or whatever, and Kendrick didn't allow, allow that or whatever. And respectively, so music is art. I feel like they should keep it up there. I mean, any songs in in relation to any incidents that they named or whatever, I feel like they could probably like take it out or something if that was possible. If they didn't even figure that out, but. Other than that, I feel like his, his songs in general is, is just fine. It's whatever. It's just music. It's separate from that the action at the time. You know what I mean? And then, like, when Drake is locked, locked away or whatever, for, you know, whenever it's actually, like, a real thing and Drake, like, gets locked away, the music isn't going anywhere. You know what I mean? It's just it's just music. It's separated from there. Now, these songs where he's talking about supposed 16-year-olds or something like that, we need to take them away. I feel like that's okay to do. do just personal. personally to me. I feel like that's fine. I feel like, especially if it's related to to the incidents, I feel like 100% you can take that shit away. I feel like that should be fine. Let me know what you think about that. In the chat, in the comments, wherever you want to leave it. Let's get back into this. Like, if you're a celebrity and a kid, that's celebrity mojo. Like, a girl's not going to not suck your because you're, like, yeah. 14. 
just don't she's gonna do it so damn you know what i'm saying yeah I'm definitely getting hit he's had some weird experiences for child stuff i'm not the lie it sounds like that was straight up experience it's like the way he is so direct with his words bro like he's telling he's telling a story like and it doesn't sound like he's trying to like ego about it either he's just literally telling you like it's this type of style and you can just I don't know. He sells it in his voice. I'll give him that. Star, yeah, you, you gotta remember that. Corey fell all those dudes. He man. is coming off child star. Now all of a sudden he's like a hardcore rapper. Which is, yeah. Post-child. Yeah. Post-child star. Weird times. Drake's gotta be going through a lot of weird... Yeah, you really don't think about how f***ed up and weird that guy must be. I mean, dude, it's gotta yeah. be... Meanwhile, Kanye West is still the best. Killing it. Kanye <laughs> came up traditional as far as rappers are concerned. Yeah. You know? Chicago gang gangland all that. Yep. Now he's he got yep. hit with the bug. <laughs> he got bit bad. <laughs> yeah, um, but the child star is out of this world. So bro, he said he got bit bad by the bug, bro. <laughs> oh, was he? He did come up to like very traditional, bro. No one wanted to hear that native music, bro. <laughs> no one was trying to give him an ear, bro. Like he came up traditional as fuck, bro. That's insane. If you really think about it, he is like... He's not obviously the only one, but it's just like... It's insane to think about how large of a personality he is. And then he came up from like that bottom like level. It's insane. I know J. Cole had something similar too. But too bad we ain't hearing from nothing. He's sitting in a fucking... On a beach somewhere in the grass patch somewhere. I don't know. Yeah, if you're a child star, you're guaranteed... He might have got head too young, dude. That can happen if you get. I mean, that's. I mean, yeah, that's actually. That's like getting sexually assaulted as a youth, and uh, yeah, that Still leads to some bad behavior. Head too young. All right, man. I'm gonna pause it right there. Before we continue, I think that's a great point. Point that they're making. You know, when you grow up as a child star, you will grow up in a different uh, reality than a regular child. So we've seen the. Uh, before you continue, bro, I'm so glad he already agreed. He literally agreed to what I what I just said, bro. It's a whole different reality from from like the norm you know what i mean they live a whole different lifestyle my boy that shit's insane to even th like to even think about bro he living a whole different lifestyle the nickelodeon documentaries you guys see what happens to these child actors and stuff like that i think it's very interesting what they're saying um and that's a great point that's being made man we don't talk about the the mental health part of it because we just see him as a grown man making decisions but there is a mental health aspect let's get back into this yeah these are you doing collabs with Jojo C. Hot 17 year olds. Jojo C. Wow. Sheesh. Yeah. Yes. And then he had like a diss track about her. <laughs> like on the next CD. Oh, really? He's like, you could have been something. I could have made you. I could have molded you into something great. He never names who it is, but everyone's like, that's who it's about, for sure. What? Yeah, Speculation. Hot ass British chick named Georgia. With a J. He could have made Georgia great? He could have made Georgia great again, but she decided <laughs> to pick someone else. Who'd she go Say with? Say the Drizzy Drake. I don't really? know. Somebody that does the same thing as him. He just laughs. Food. He just laughs at him. He's like, you guys aren't even close. You guys aren't even close to me, dude. Close guess... to what I'm doing. So many seven So many. I'm telling you, Drake's on that R. Kells. Ah, oh, man. He Drake's on that R. Kells. He's such a chill guy. Dude, what he said. guess what his produced? Guess what show he produced? Uh, yeah, Euphoria. Euphoria, dude. Yeah. yeah. He produced oh. Euphoria. Oh. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie, bro. Drake producing Euphoria... It just made so much sense. I, I, I'm not going to lie to you, bro. That just, wow. That made so much sense. It finally just clicks why that show, like, exists. <laughs> That's insane, bro. I can't believe I didn't even think about that before. But, like, the premise of the show, the things that are going on and stuff like that. And Drake is one of the producers. He's just one of them. But still, you know, he gave the thumbs up. Like, yeah, man. Put that shit in. No diddy. Yeah, man. I hope. Dude, you are rifling through it's, the air. You are rifling through the air, dude. Tip of the Drizzy Spear right yeah, now. Yeah, Unfortunately. <laughs> yeah, you didn't want to be When I like looked this. up who that, because I was listening to this you song. You don't want to be on the end of that. What is this about? I looked it up, and I was like, he must have wrote this song in 2016. Like, She's just Hey, I appreciate like, the follow. I'm so happy. I'm like, what is going on with you? And you're like, well, Drake's a p***. That's what I'm dealing with. I'll tell you what I, what's going on with me. No, I don't like talking about. Hey, we made it. I don't like talking about what I made it to 30 followers. Let's fucking get it, guys. That's what I'm talking about. You're not. So there, you guys have it, man. That's what Shane Gillis predicted in 2019. Again, it was August 5th, 2019, episode one. And hey, what's good, most proud uh, Moroccan? How you doing? 
141 of his podcast that that came out. I think it's super interesting that, you know, he knew about it. He said that, you know, in the beginning of that, he said, you know, it's, it's fairly known. Um, and I'm like, by who? Because in 2019, none of us knew that this was this stuff was going on or even had an inkling of it. You know, what I mean, nobody really felt like this stuff was going on. So for this to be going on for this long, how long was it going on before 2019 for the whole industry to already know about it? I feel like this should have been going on for so long, bro. It's insane. And I'm doing good, bro. I'm chilling. Uh, we're watching some Drake exposure right now. Right now, this one's just uh, The Child Lover five years ago. Uh, Shane Gillis is talking about it. But I don't know if you're a Drake fan. Uh, I mean, like, don't get me wrong. I, I fucked with Drake, bro. You feel me? But once the, I mean, if these allegations land, though. I don't know. I mean, the music probably ain't gonna stop, though. But, like, you know, I ain't no fuck with the boy. But the music still will be cool. So but it's really right hard now, to bro. see, uh, you know, people that we love their their art as these type of people. You know what I'm saying? And sometimes we got to be conscious of uh, cognitive dissonance. You know, let's make sure our, our belief systems um, are not our truth. The truth is the truth. You know, don't yep. try to make your belief Straight system up. the truth. So whatever you believe about Drake, whatever, you got to throw that out the window and look at the evidence, bro, and say, this is the facts. This, these are facts that are being presented in front of me. Even if I don't want to believe it, even if my belief system says, you know, the truth, even if my belief system contradicts the truth, the truth is still the truth. So it's sad, man. It's hard to see. Um, we've seen these allegations with him, but, you know, we'll see how it plays out for him. He sold all his homes in the United States so and he's left that, the country. You in that Central Sea? Uh, child and his baby mama <laughs> out the country um, from what's being reported accordingly. So we'll see how this plays out for him, man, but it doesn't look good for his career. Um, and I think if I'm if I'm UMG, if I'm his record label, I'm starting to make plans on how we can leave him behind. I'm going to be honest with you. Oh, you yeah. already know they they already doing that, bro. They already probably have some plan, bro. They've they been knowing about Drake, but he one of their biggest, like, probably, uh, what's it called? People that break in the money, bro. You know what I mean? Like, he's he's one of them people that bring in all the money for them. So they ain't no cut ties that easily, but they don't keep tra covering the tracks, though, as best as they can. If he is, if he is hiding something, he's 100% getting his tracks covered. We, we gave him $400 million in 2022. I would be starting to make plans on what can we do to get some of that money back, break even, and get away from him. That's my opinion. Um, you know, and prayers up for him because, not because uh, of anything else other than he could still be forgiven. You know what I mean? God forgives. Um, if he repents, he still will have consequences. Obviously, you reap what you sow. That doesn't negate consequences of what you did. But we don't want to see him... Uh, you know, we don't want to see him uh, lose his life or go to the grave or anything negative like that. We don't want to see him uh, get anything other than justice, you know. So after that, repent. I pray that Drake's re Drake repents, come back to Christ, come to God and, uh, you know, and, and, and cleanses his soul, bro. And hopefully can move forward one day and um, leave his stuff behind him. But these are serious allegations and, you know, it's not looking good for him right now, man. All right, man, that was, oh, damn. All right, not a bad video. That was by Urban Legend and Will Evans. That was, that was not bad, bro. Drake getting exposed a little, a little bit by Shane Gillis. I wish we had, like, actual video of it. That would have been cool, but I know he, like, you know, you do what you can. You feel me? Just, like, I'm listening to that.